According to Section 29 of the Traffic and Road Safety Act of 1998, CAP 361, as amended, provides that a person shall not repair a motor vehicle, trailers or engineering plants unless he or she is in possession of a license issued by the chief licensing officer. It's against this background that the Ministry of Works and Transport has pronounced October 30th, 2023 as the last date for data collection of all motor garage owners and all their workers. We want to know who is the owner of that garage, where is it located, and uh, which category of workers is that person using. And if you have opened up your garage, which type of vehicles are you repairing? According to Fred Biamukama, the State Minister for Works and Transport, poor mechanical skills is among the various causes of road accidents, adding that business has to be regulated to ensure road safety. You find someone repairs a vehicle electrically, it goes on the road, it starts bringing a smoke. It can't open the windows, it can't open the locks, the seatbelt cannot remove. In that process, the vehicle burns. We have seen scenarios. NTV sought the opinion of people who repair vehicles in Chibuye, a Kampala suburb. They are opposed to the plan. Although most of them are against this exercise, Isaac Tegule, who works with Sifao Motors, the official dealers of Toyota, Suzuki, Yamaha, and other brands has applauded government's move to issue licenses to people who repair cars and garage owners. He says the move will weed out counterfeit motor spare parts and ensure quality control. And that, that's a good thing for, for every car owner or driver. It means you'll be dealing with the right people um, to, to repair your cars uh, so that you're safer on the road, so that you get value for your money. According to the plan, people who have skills in repairing vehicles will be assessed and certified by the Directorate of Industrial Training and every garage will be required to have a professional supervisor.